months so I had kind of like a weird I was trying to think of like a video I wanted to do I get in like these video making moods where I just want to keep making videos which I think is good because sometimes I'll be in the opposite mood where I just don't want to make a video so I figure I'd rather make more when I want to um, so that I never get in the phase where I just don't have any videos for a long period of time because for me that gets kind of annoying and I don't know if it gets annoying for you guys but it might so anyways um, I was just thinking of what I wanted to do I didn't really want to do another tutorial I didn't really want to do a fashion one um, but I kind of just wanted to like sit and talk about stuff, sort of, but not like a vlog. So this is basically going to be a video about things that make me happy, I guess. It's kind of, I guess, vague. But um, first I'm going to do like superficial things, and these are just the few items that if I have, I feel good. Um, I guess kind of like my favorite things. And then um, I'll also add in a couple things that aren't superficial and makeup related. So first thing is my MAC... Um, plush glasses. These are my favorite type. I've decided that these are my favorite types of lip glosses ever. Um, I don't like the Dazzle glasses as much. I don't like the lip glasses as much. I don't like any of the MAC lip products as much as I like the plush glasses. Um, I love lip glosses because I like the way they feel on your lips, but the plush glasses have some sort of consistency that I just love. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of thick and it's a little plumping and it's just, it's the best, in my opinion, formula of MAC lip products and the lip glosses at least. So um, I would highly recommend getting one. Um, my two favorites are Posh It Up and Big Baby. This is Big Baby, which is my first one. You can see the MAC label totally is off of this now because I've used it so much. And um, I'm going to do, I haven't gone to MAC in the longest time, so I'm going to do a new MAC haul because I want some a couple new things. So I'm going to get a couple new plush glasses and let you guys know what I think about the new ones. So that will be an upcoming video. The next thing, which many of you guys know, is I love cream blush. Um, this is a drugstore dupe to my favorite matte cream blush, which is Max Lady Blush. I, I said that all the time. People probably get upset. But anyways, um, if you want to try it out, I would try the Revlon um, Cream Blush in Rosy Glow because it's almost the exact same. So you can see if you like it or not before you want to go purchase a matte one. So I love that. Love cream blushes. Never will go back to powder blush. Looks so much more natural, so much more buildable. Just... It looks great on your skin, and it doesn't give you, like, a powdery, cakey look at all. So, I love cream blush. Um, I also love really dark, um, volumizing mascara. I don't like length fitting so much, because I have okay length, uh, but I like thick black lashes. That's, I just love that. So, my favorite mascara is the... Kanink Lash Doubling Mascara. Just a normal wand, but the formula of this is so smooth, and it's so black. Like, it's really, really black. And uh, you don't get kind of that, you know, charcoal-y, gray-looking color. You get black. And I'll just do a little bit of a swatch. So it's it's just black. Like black, black, black. As black as you can get. And I love that because I love the contrast of blonde hair and black lashes. You know, some people don't, but that's my personal opinion, and I think it looks nice. So, And my next makeup item are I love um, these blue-green colors for the upper lash line. I have it on today. I just did a tutorial with this. Uh, but I love Max Mutiny Pigment. This just makes me so happy when I get to wear it because it's such a pretty color. And my eyes change color depending on what I'm wearing. Um, my eyes have like a ring of blue around them and they're green. So this really brings out the blue in my eyes. And I just, I love that. It makes me feel just fun and like colorful when I wear that. And the last thing is I love inner inner like corner highlights. I love, love, love that. It just makes your eyes look so wide and open and just really pretty so I really love that. Um, one of my favorite things to use for that is my MAC Vanilla Pigment and um, I just take whatever is left on the cap and then put a little bit of like a liner brush in there and then just dust it on my inner corners and I love how those are my makeup items. Um, as far as other things I love red nail polish talk about that all the time. I went back to red. I was trying to like, branch out, but um, red's just my color that every time I have red nail polish on, it looks perfect. I never am worried if it looks too crazy or if it doesn't look right. Uh, it's just my safe color. So my favorite one is OPI Personal Shopper. It's a perfect red. It's not too tomato-y, but it's not too pinky either. Um, it's perfect. You can wear it in the fall, the winter, or the summer, and it looks just classy and just very classic. So I love that color. Um, another thing that makes me happy are the Bath & Body Works candles. My favorite one is the Pineapple Mango one. <laughs> I've used so much of this. These are huge. I think I believe they cost, these big ones cost like something crazy. Like I think the little ones are like $10 in the big, or I don't know. But these cost kind of a lot for a candle. I think it's like $10 or $20. I'm not sure. Um, well, actually it should say. 
Okay, these ones are $19.50, these big ones, but they all, but the smaller ones are cost ten dollars. But um the big ones like will last you for so long and I've burned almost all of it. This is my favorite scent. Um I love mango and I like pineapple and it's just a really summery scent, but it's not too sweet and it's my favorite scent. So candles make me very happy. Um the next things like jewelry items, um Anything that's turquoise and kind of antique-ish makes me so happy. This is one of my, fa probably my favorite necklace that I own. Um, and it wasn't that expensive at all. I think it was around $55 or something, which isn't bad um, considering it looks like it's so expensive and so vintage. And I love things that are very vintage-y looking. And um, this is just a classic, beautiful, gorgeous piece. It's like a work of art. It really is. And that's kind of how I think of my jewelry as art. And I love jewelry. So this is probably my favorite necklace that I own. So it's just my favorite color, um, and this is probably my favorite piece of jewelry. It makes me very happy when I get to wear this. Um, any type of clothing that has detailing, whether it be lace, I love lace, or um, like some kind of like crocheting knit on it. This is one of my favorite tops. It's very bohemian, and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous top. It's super lightweight, so you can wear it in the summertime, but it does have sleeves. Okay get this out and the sleeves have like little ruffles so delicate and girly but bohemian and that's like completely my style I like looking very feminine and girly um, but I love kind of the bohemian just free look and so this is one of my favorite tops I got this from Cache about two years ago so I don't know where you could find one quite like it but um this top just makes me so happy when I get to wear it and I love anything that has like sequins or beading beading is a big thing I love anything that's like looks like it was handmade. Uh, this is one of my little, I guess you would call it like a shrug. And I got this from Topshop, which is a European store. And it has like, it's kind of like a gold and it has all this like beading on it. And this, and it comes down like right here and you would wear it with um, like a little plain tank top and some jeans. And it can just dress your outfit up, but it looks so expensive and it's just, it's beautiful. I love that. And I love how it feels so like almost like handmade because it's all beaded and stuff that aren't superficial um I love my family obviously I'll post a picture of my little sisters and me I have two little sisters um their names are Molly and Mia so I'll post that picture now um I love my boyfriend Justin he is very supportive of me and he just makes me laugh all the time which is great so post a picture of him Another thing that makes me happy is Daisy, my teacup Pomeranian. Look at the screen. Um, <laughs> dogs are so nice. They always love you and they always want to be around you. So, this is Daisy. Say hi. Look. I'm trying to lick me. And lastly, I love my friends very much. Um, I've had such a difficult time, I guess, um, well, throughout this whole year, I've had a hard time finding people that I really trusted and um, just finding, like, good friends that would be there for me and um, just would stick around, I guess, and that were true, nice people. And I have finally found um, a close group of girls that I really trust and I love with all my heart. So um, I'm really thankful for those friends. I'm also very thankful for um, my fans. They make me very happy. I don't want to call you guys fans, but some of you guys say that. So I guess fans, supporters, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've met a few of you, which has been kind of cool. So I'll post some pictures. Uh, if you ever see me, please come up to me because it's so cool to meet you guys because it's so weird like having you watch me from wherever you live around the world and then uh, getting to meet me. So that's really neat and I love that. So please come up to me if you ever see me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kind of slightly personal. Uh, just things that make me happy, I guess. So um, I don't know if this has been done or not. If it hasn't, please do it as a tag video. I tag all of you. I'd love to see your video responses. It's just a happy video and uh, it's something fun to watch, I guess, what make other people happy. So thank you guys.